sanctuary of Diana, a richly decorated temple in a grove of sacred trees. There was just one weird thing about the sanctuary of Diana, and that was the priest in charge, the so-called King of Nemi, the Rex Nemorensis. First of all, he was a runaway slave, and secondly, in order to get the job, he had to kill the present incumbent. If you wanted to become Rex here, you came to the sanctuary, you went and found the special sacred tree, you pulled off a branch. If you managed to pull off that branch, you were allowed to challenge the current priest to a fight to the death. If you won, you became Rex yourself, but of course, you also got a death sentence because someone else would be along sooner or later to challenge you. Ancient writers tell us about seeing the priest in this sanctuary. He had a sword in his hand and he was always looking furtively about him for obvious reasons. The ritual of Naomi harked back to a very primitive level of ancient religion. And Caligula was said to have revived it with glee, finding a slave to come and kill the priest in charge. Whether Caligula did that because he wanted to inject a bit of religious reality into what had become a charade, or whether it was just capricious sadism, we don't know. But it's hard not to think of the king of Nemi as an uncanny double of the emperor of Rome. Both were looking behind their backs. Maybe Caligula had spotted that too. <laughs> 